Hello guys, what's going on? It's me, Ed here, and welcome to the Pacific Central, the channel that is dedicated for your academic lectures. If you are new to our channel, then don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to get updated whenever we post new videos like this. For this day's lesson, we are going to talk about the box stress, the box modulus, and the box strain. And stress is something like this. Punch bag being squeezed up, and you know how so we can define bulk modulus as a property of ohm matter in its reaction to force. Alright, so bulk modulus is just a numerical constant that describes the elastic property of a certain solid, certain liquid when it is bringing pressure. And so we have a formula for the bulk modulus and we use the letter B to signify it. So B is equivalent to bulk stress over bulk. When materials are subjected to pressure, just what SpongeBob is feeling right now, their bodies have some degree of deformation, and we refer to this deformation as the bulk strain. So bulk strain is defined as the amount of deformation brought by the change in pressure that is applied to the body. We can compute the deformation that happens on the body by using the formula for bulk strain, which is given as Delta V O over V O, where in Delta V is the change in volume and V O is the original volume of the material. Now we can write the general formula that we can use for the bulk module. Put in mind that stress given as force perpendicular over area. And this force perpendicular per unit area gives us the pressure. So when there is a change in stress, there will always be a change in pressure and we can put it in our formula B for the bulk modulus is equivalent to the ratio of bulk stress over bulk strain and we can use the relationship that we have derived for bulk stress we are going to use delta P right so for bulk strain we are going to use delta V over V O and don't forget the negative sign over there the negative sign there implies that whenever there is a positive increase in pressure, there will be a shrink in volume. So, a change in pressure tends to shrink the object. That is how we define the formula for the bulk module. We can now use this formula in our problem solving. It's worth to note some relationship called as the compressibility which is regarded to be the inverse of bulk module. Compressibility is a measure of the relative volume change of a certain solid or of a certain material, whether it be solid or, or fluid, in response to pressure changes. Imagine you be with like punch bag again, and that reaction means compressibility. So we can write a formula for compressibility, which is K. We use the K there for compressibility is equivalent to 1 over V, which is equivalent to negative delta V over V sub O all over delta P. And once we write it, you can, you can use this formula to solve for the compressibility of several objects. Anyway, we are going to show how it is used in our problem solving. As promised, we have prepared the problem for you. This is our sample problem. A hydraulic press contains 0.25 cubic meters of oil, which is equivalent to 250 liters. Find the decrease in the volume when this hydraulic press is subjected to a certain amount of pressure equivalent to 1.6 times 10 to the 2 Pascal, which is about around 2300 psi. The bulk modulus of the oil is given and is equal to 5.0 times 10 to the 9 Pascal, which is about, well, 5.0 times 10 to the 4 atm. Also, we have the value for its compressibility K, which is 20 times 10 to the negative 6 atmospheric pressure. And if you haven't seen any hydraulic press before, I'm gonna show you one. Alright, so imagine how much pressure is being applied to the pineapple. That is the same as the hydraulic press fills inside. If we want to solve this problem, we have to identify our target, and that is to find the decrease in volume delta V. We have some information at hand to solve this problem. We have delta P is equivalent to 1.6 times 10 to the 
faster. We have the information B given, which is 5.0 cm faster. We also have the compressibility of the material, which is 25 cm to the negative 6, 80 m to the negative 1. And we also have the initial volume of the oil inside the hydraulic press, which is 0.25 cubic meters. And this is equivalent to 250 meters. So all what's left is to execute this and find an equation or formula for delta B. And we can use the relationship right behind me and uh, we can derive delta B and it will give us delta P times B sub O all over B. And once we plug in the values, we are going to arrive at the answer. We can now plug in to our formula and we will get delta B is equivalent to negative 1.6 times 10 to 2 pascals multiplied by 0.25 cubic meters and we are going to divide it over 5.0 times 10 to the 9 pascals and it will result to negative 8.0 times 10 to the negative 4 cubic meter or equivalently it will give uh, 0 0.8 liters. Alternatively, we can use the concept of compressibility and we can use this formula. Alright, but um, we have to derive for delta V and uh, we can see that delta V is equivalent to negative K times V sub O which is the original volume and times delta P. Alright, so once we substitute it, right, we will get the same answer and let's write the law. Hope you guys learned the concept of bulk modulus, bulk stress, bulk strain, and compressibility. And uh, if you're new to our channel, please hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to get updated whenever we post new videos. We have prepared more videos to come. See you there.